Hi everyone, welcome to day three of our 21 day yin yoga challenge. If you've just joined and you would like to start from the very beginning, click the link below and that way you can start from the start and it will all make beautiful sense to you. So we are going to find out today that through this act of letting go in yin yoga, we begin to access what I re often refer to as the space between the thoughts. When we let the noise and the working and the busyness of the mind and body to drop away, we start to access silence and stillness. We start to access clarity and peace and space. Now, my goal behind all of these classes is to teach you that through letting go, you are able to find your strength and your stamina. And I have certainly found myself that through letting go in my yin yoga practice, through finding this space and this stillness, I find my rejuvenation, I find my clarity, I find my strength. So that's what I'm hoping to guide you through in a little bite-sized practice today. So I'm going to ask you to come into a kneeling position, unless that's not okay for your knees, in which case lay flat onto the floor. We're going to take our usual couple of minutes to make sure that we, we ground and we arrive before we begin. So from this kneeling position, the spine is upright, the shoulders are soft away from the ears, and when you feel ready, start to allow those eyelids to get heavy, so all those muscles around the eyes just begin to relax. And the forehead gets soft and the jaw softens. Shoulders, arms and hands let go and the belly becomes soft. Breathing in and out through the nose, allowing your body to begin to soften as we always do at the beginning of a yin class and throughout. And this requires you to tune in to really begin to feel the feeling of your own body. And to start to feel into muscles and tissues so that you can consciously release and relax as you breathe out. Let that belly rise as you breathe in and fall as you breathe out. So continuing with our belly breath that we began to learn about yesterday. Just finding a little presence, a little softness. A slightly deeper grounding breath. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And out through the nose, down to the end. One more deep breath in. And out. Opening the eyes. Stay present, stay with the body as you sit to the side and you take your legs around in front of you. And you come down onto your back ready for a recline twist. And today we're going to have an option to take this twist a little deeper if we want to. And these are always just options in yin. So the arms come out to the sides, the knees draw in towards the belly. And these come down to the right hand side. And if this feels too strong, as always, you can place a block or cushion under your knees or in between your knees so that you're not going as far. And you're going to look over your left shoulder, draw your left shoulder down towards the earth initially. But I just want to show you your option to deepen. So if now or at any point you want a little bit more, take your top leg up over the top and then tuck it 
under the bottom okay so that's the top leg goes up over the top tucks under the bottom and the knees drop back towards the floor that's quite strong so you might not want to come straight into it straight away and you might even want to come into this but give support with a cushion under your knees so arms relax into the floor just give the shoulders and the arms back into the earth let your eyes close Allow your thighs to let go and your hips to let go. And each time you breathe out, allow your body to give its weight over to the floor a little bit more. Breathing down into the belly to calm and ground and to arrive. Feel the body releasing its tension a little bit each time you breathe out. And let this be a very slow and gradual process. there being any forcing or trying your body is just allowed to let go in its own time and its own way Mentally letting go as well, so as we feel the body soften its effort, the mind begins to relax. No need for so much mental effort in this moment. Nothing that we need to be taking care of or figuring out, so right now in this moment it's okay to begin to relax that mental effort. It's okay to let thoughts, particular thoughts, fall away as you breathe out. breathe out there's just an opportunity you can feel just a little bit of mental physical effort falling away but all of this is effortless nothing is forced You have just a little while longer left, just a few more breaths. And then if you took that twisted roots, Take your legs back to normal first. Take your knees around to center. Just rock your knees from side to side. Massage your lower back into the floor. And then taking your knees down to the left hand side. So taking the knees in first. 
and then down to the left. So you're going to look over your right shoulder and softening the body. So soften thighs, hips, shoulders sink back and we let the spine give itself over to this twist. Breathing down into the belly, the more you breathe out, the more you let go. It's very simple. take that more gentle version to begin with with that option to take twisted roots at any point if you start to feel like your body's opening up remembering your nothing is ever aggressive forceful we're always looking for a middle ground of sensation that's not too little and it's not too much What I want you to observe here as you breathe out and let go is the effortlessness of this act. If you try to let go, it doesn't work. Something that you just allow to fall away from you. So as you breathe out, you're just allowing layers of tension and effort and gripping and holding and working. You're just allowing that kind of energy to fall away rather than trying to push it away. And you begin to notice that there really is an effortless quality to letting go. to release rather than a gripping harder, trying harder. And often what we do is we get on the mat and say we're wanting to relax. We bring in our trying hard energy and we try hard to relax or we try hard to concentrate on our breath rather than this letting go of effort. This letting go of tension. It's very much the opposite to any kind of trying hard. can't hurry it along, you can't make it happen in a certain way, you just have to breathe and let it happen, invite it and go along for the ride, let it happen at whatever pace it's going to happen, in whatever way it's going to happen, we have to let go of our need to control. Breathing out letting go, breathing out, letting go. Taking your knees back into center and hugging your knees in towards your chest, rocking your knees from side to side, it's giving a little release to the lower back and the hips. And then taking your knees to the side so that you can come up into a seated position and then come up onto all fours. So we're going to come into swan pose. If swan is too much for your knees, I will show you an alternative afterwards. So taking your right leg forwards first in front, and then the right leg goes back 
So your hips will lower, to, however low they're going to go, it will be different for everyone. Rest into your hands, and if you want to, you can place a cushion, a blanket, or a block even under this right hip to keep the hips even and to just take the edge off if things are a little strong. So softening through the shoulders. Now if body wants a little more, we come down. We don't need to come all the way down. Maybe we rest into a bolster, block, cushion. So you decide how low you're gonna go with that. You can even take your head to the floor to come into sweet sleeping swan. Okay, so as an alternative here, if this is feeling too strong on the knees, you can let your body sit to the side and just taking this leg maybe a little bit further up, letting the back leg, leg bend and just resting into your palms. So a much more gentle version. So a little bit of effort required through the arms unless we're in sleeping swan. So we activate where we need to activate, but then as we breathe, we allow tension, gripping, that doesn't need to be there to fall away. Just breathing out, letting go. Really observing the effortless quality to letting go. The feeling of ungripping and releasing. And observing the way that your breath aids that so well. The breath out is a very natural moment of release. your body where might you be holding that you haven't noticed already so that the breath can land deep in the belly. Breathing out, letting go. Breathing out, letting go. up if we lowered I'm gonna take our leg back and just rock our hips from side to side a few times and then take the left leg forwards and the right leg back so maybe we stay on straight arms for the beginning soften the shoulders back if you're using the alternative you just switch legs in between and if at some point it feels right to go a little deeper, you can go a little deeper and you can do this in stages. So maybe you just come to a block first. Soften your shoulders back away from your ears. Soften your face, soften your belly. And breathe down into that belly as you 
Just experience the releasing quality of your out breath. Your ability to surrender and give up. Whatever no longer serves you, whether it be physical or mental effort. And you let any trying fall away. Any effort at all that you sense inside, you let it fall away. Because there is absolutely nothing to do right now. sense that effort, that mental trying, some kind of internal striving come up just soften away. Breathing down into that belly. job here is to breathe out and let go. Last few breaths on this side. the hands back up if you lower it's pressing into the floor to just rock those hips from side to side a few times releasing the stiffness and any kind of sensations that crop up in the body and then coming to a seated position with the legs wide and there's the potential here to place cushions or blocks underneath your knees and the bigger the bend same with any forward fold the more you bend the knees, the more gentle it becomes on the backs of the legs and the back of the body. So you can also stack bolsters, cushions, blocks in front of you, whatever you need to give some support to your head if anything gets too strong for the neck. So sit up tall, lean forwards and lower your body. So you're going to let your spine round and your shoulders relax. Breathing in and out through the nose. Adjusting, finding your version. Breathing out, letting go. Remember, you can sit up onto a cushion or a folded blanket and sit to the edge. Breathing out, letting go. Releasing any physical, mental, internal effort, striving, doing, for there is nothing to do in this moment. Let go of all your trying, any fighting, controlling, fixing. begin to observe what arises 
in its place. Is it space? Quietness, stillness, peace. Just be alert and aware as you let go of this quality that begins to arise in the background. Breathing out, letting go. Letting go. Last few breaths here. And walking your hands back in, taking your blocks away. We're just going to come into a seated position to so take those feet in now. You can sit up onto a cushion if you need to. Take your hands down to your knees and just sit for a moment quietly. Continuing to release effort, doing, trying. And recognizing what begins to arise in its place. palms together at heart center, lowering your nose to your fingertips. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. If you enjoyed that session, hit the like button and as you move through your day today, remember that there are moments to activate and do and try and there are moments to soften and yield and allow. And I will see you back here tomorrow to continue our transformation.